Hey everybody, welcome back. We just scared that guy away. Welcome back to looking through a scope. Yeah. Oh, there's the guy. You think I can get him? Who? The guy? The end? There, no, there's the guy that's calling it in. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Respond! I got his goddamn thing. So yeah, welcome back to the recollection. We're gonna... Uh, he's fine, but I blew his radio up. Damn it, so I'm still gonna have to blow him up and his friends. Damn, damn, pop! Yeah, check him out. There you go. I believe this is part eight of the recollection. Pop! You're fucking dead, he bra. Love it. Oh Fuck wow, the other guy it. gets scared. Oh no, he didn't get scared. He's actively looking for me. Pop! Pop! Yeah! Love it. <laughs> and that's how you clear out a very small area of a thing. With a sniper rifle. Uh. So pulling the sausage back over your eyes, to coin the term, um, this is once again another edit. We're having, we're having a lot of, uh, video issues, unfortunately, in the recording process here. No, wouldn't this be the first one? We have a lot of audio issues, just not video yet. This is the first one. You know what? You're right. Yeah, because technically the first time when we had the video issue, it was just me probably not pressing the button, and I'm slowly but surely coming to the conclusion that, yeah... That very first time we had issues, I just never pressed the fucking button. <laughs> Correct. The height of professionalism. Yep. On YouTube. And I apparently Snake Achilles' heel is climbing up small ledges. Got them oh, night vision no. goggles, girl. Highly trained CIA agents. Oh, they no. Climb up ledges. I'm a fucking idiot, so I apologize to everybody who's listening to this right now because it just occurred to me that you were probably getting an audio reverb from my shit being up, so. Speaking of professionalism, <laughs> playthrough canceled. Damn it. <laughs> we're retired. We're retired. What is problem? Have the retard escaped? <laughs> Fucking Borat. Alright, so here we are in the building. We're heading to uh, the Granin Labs, finally. Uh and I keep forgetting why we were going there. I think we were going there to get some type of, some type of type of MacGuffin, some type of thing that will allow um, us to go to. I a thought place. we were going to go talk to somebody. Well, we're going to talk to Granin now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I remember. So if I remember correctly, we waited for him to pop around the corner there. Oh yeah, that's a much better angle. Pop. Did you see him? <laughs> nope. You. I are love it. Oblivious. It's like, pat, pat. You are oblivious, sir. Oblivious. You're ovulating. Oh, shit. You're ovulating? He's ovulating, everybody. Apparently. He's going into heat. All right, what? let's see. Am I going to step into a puddle that's going to scare him? Dude. Hey, asshole. Knock on the wood. No. no I'm going to knock on his wood, girl. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nope, we're good. He's the only one that saw me, and he didn't He didn't scream out. All right. Ah. Let's see. What do you know? What do you know about how delicious snakes are and shit? Russ, are you telling me about traps? Tell me about stepping on things. Hey, the Dow's closed higher for anybody who cares about stocks. Do you care about stocks, Mr. Tony? A little bit. I don't follow it as much as I probably should. I do. I have a ton of money in Activision, and it's made me a ton of money. <laughs> nice. I agree. Can't go wrong with entertainment. All right, so let's see. Oh, there's a guy up there. I know you heard something, so we're going to let the door close. And we're going to slowly open the door. <laughs> No, that's not suspicious at all. No, it's not suspicious. A door held ajar by something. Why does it look like there are boots underneath the door? What's wrong? Oh, he sees What's his wrong? friend. Where'd you, where'd you kill him at? Like right down there. Right where oh, he okay. can see it. Right, right. So but look at this. Motherfucker turns. Look at this. Like These are obviously supposed to be well-trained... Uh, it's Russians. Yeah, well-trained Russian soldiers. But how, how fucking ha. inept are you from a gameplay standpoint? 
Which, I mean, they have to dumb it down for, for gameplay, because... I wish they wouldn't. I wish they'd go all Dark Souls on everybody. No. One of these games in the style of, of, of the uh, the classic masterpiece, Darkru Sozaru. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. There's no way. No, that would be... There are there are some uh, some hard difficulty settings on um, <clears throat> there are some hard difficulty settings on some of the missions in Metal Gear Solid uh, V that mm. I wouldn't say come close to that but kind of give you that experience um, like the last mission in the game is just a hard mode of the final boss <clears throat> seriously yeah it's re it's it's really cool. Oh God! <laughs> Whoa! You like that? You couldn't have cut that any closer, bro. I'm awesome. See how Damn. see how thick my wang is. <laughs> the height of professionalism. <laughs> so here we are coming up on the Granin Labs, um, and we're gonna meet a guy who's he himself isn't super important to the Metal Gear lore, but the things he created is another another example of the. Uh, Come on, you stupid fucking dog. There, you're dead. Another... So, go he ahead. is important because he's the one who made it. Ish. Yeah. You're not wrong. But, so he's kind of important, but... He... Yeah. he his, 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 his... The things he creates are important. Um, and you'll see... You'll see what I mean when we get there. Because holy shit, you'll see what I mean when we get there. Yeah. Um, if this is your first... If this is your first... Um, not recollection. What's the damn word? Recollection. That's the name of the LP. If this is wow, those 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 plants just keep popping into the screen there. You see that? What the um, fuck? I don't know, dude. If this is your first exposure to the Metal Gear uh, Solid universe, then you won't understand it. But um, it's I'm, not a good place to start. Well, no, this is a good place to start. But I'm gonna be a little a little spoilery when we get there. It is and it isn't because this is like okay, what fourth newest. I don't know. Because what Metal Gear Solid Three, Metal Gear Solid Four, Portable Ops, Peace Walker. Oh, okay, those two came out before. That's right. Yeah. I keep forgetting. But Portable Ops, Peace Walker. Oh wow! I apparently didn't shoot him directly in the face. No, not again. No. Ah. Uh... I know how to handle my business, girl. Jeez. It's by taking care of your business. All of it. <clears throat> Apparently. Both twigs and berries. Man, I am flemmy today. Good lord. I apologize to anyone listening to this. Flemmy, 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 flemmy. And... Boop. Ow. You know, ah. I should probably fucking fix my camouflage since I'm still out in the open. And I'm just out in the open running around. So here's an extremely important weapon. It is the experimental model of the M16. And the reason it's important it is, is because it is an assault rifle that is more accurate and easier to aim over distances. Um, also a suppressor. Yes, and I can put a suppressor on that motherfucker. 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 His face yeah, just... is gone. His face is gone. Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah, perfect. I mean, not really perfect, because I shot him in the shoulder, and it took him a second to be like, wait, I'm freaking out. But, you know. Freaking out, man. Man, I'm not feeling nearly as talkative today as I was before. Then again, we'll get to the stuff that's interesting to talk about later. Yeah, because we've already gone over this. That's probably why. Oh, uh, I hate I hate that. I hate having to re-record stuff. And honestly, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not a deal breaker, but it is annoying. Yeah, this isn't this isn't that bad a tool, sir. Uh, and let's see, there is the Oyama face. Um, thanks, Oyama. <laughs> so while we're in here and we have to change stuff over, anyways, let's. Uh... Hey guys, you looking for a good time? Hi, my name is Tanya. My <laughs> Tanya. My name is. Ta God damn. Tanya, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tanya, you sound like you're shivering. Did you see the Did you see the glasses pop in? Yeah, I did. Did you see that? That's yeah, I funny. never noticed. I always well, thought he didn't have any glasses. Why but... am I losing Why am I losing energy so quickly? 
you getting attacked by leeches? I am not getting attacked by leeches. I don't know what to what to make cold? of that. I'm gonna eat me some Kenyan mangrove crab here because they are delicious. They almost because you're cold. They'll fill up three bars of your of your 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 food bar. Stamina. <clears throat> yep. Stamina. So this is the first. This is the first. I mean, obviously, there's that little outpost we ran through before, but this is the first major um, indoor area that you come across, and it has some very uh, tricky traps in it. Um, <clears throat> God, I'm so phlegmy. I'm sorry. Tricky traps. <laughs> tricky traps. What do you mean by tricky traps? This area is real tricksy. Because of those fucking scientists that just look at you and immediately start off an alarm. Like, hey, this scientist has a face I haven't seen before. Exactly. Also, bandana. Yeah, they're like, who the fuck is this guy? Why does he smell like American women? Because <laughs> he be fucking them American women, yo. And whiskey. He's fucking the American whiskey? Yes. This Russian scientist says his dick covered in whiskey. It should be vodka. I don't know what's going on. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> so quick. Shit. God, no. There we go. Fuck. <laughs> no. What are you doing? I'm trying to punch this door because it's... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's not great. There, I got that stuff from the poo-poo toilet. And that is a uniform. Uh, ladies and gents, that is a uniform that will uh, make me smell like poop. So basically, if I get into a fight, I turn that on and people won't want to get near me. Because I'll smell like poop. Yes. An interesting thing, they have something like this in, in pretty much every Metal Gear game after this one. And it's some sort of, it's some sort of toilet humor. It's some sort of poop joke. Kojima loves his poop jokes. But the point of the poop jokes is actually really interesting because they can be used from a gameplay perspective. Um, mm. Case in point, in Metal Gear Solid V, there is a tape that you can play. And you have a cassette recorder that you can use to play tapes. And when you play them, um, you can either play them to yourself or you can play them out loud, right? Right. And um, when you play them out loud, uh, I got a book. When you play them out loud, other people can hear them. And there are porta shitters that you can hide in, uh, scattered mm. throughout the countryside, right? Right. Um, however, that may arouse some type of suspicion. Um, like, especially if they're looking for you. However, you get a tape at some point um, that's called, like, Soldier in Toilet or something like that. And it's just, it's just a shit and fart joke. It's just the sounds of someone in distress in the toilet. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, um... That, if you play it when someone's near it and they're inspecting like the, the porta shitter, they'll leave it alone because they're like, oh, somebody's in there just taking a horrible shit. <laughs> Which I mean, that's amazing from a gameplay yeah. perspective. That here's this Actually fucking really smart. here's this dumbass toilet humor. But hey, guess what? We're gonna use it from a gameplay perspective. So I wonder if I'm hiding in a toilet and I'm wearing that, will people smell it and 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 run away from it? And I don't necessarily want to to try it in this playthrough here um because i don't because i don't want to waste the time no but um if someone watching this knows the answer to that and can tell me in the comments that would be awesome uh so that... here we have here we have our first um uh, first item that we can equip wearing this uh, disguise here because as you can see you cannot equip any of your weapons when in this disguise which makes sense because why would a scientist be carrying around you know a small arsenal however here's this super spy weapon that is knockout gas spray <laughs> inside of a cigarette which is so fucking cool because it's Cause silent it and it does it. and it does the job it would suck if he inhaled it that would be funny you you have that problem in um, uh, you have that problem in other uh, um, Metal Gear games, specifically uh, Metal Gear Solid V. If you use like like a stun grenade or something, um, especially like a sleeping gas grenade, yeah. If um, if the sleeping gas grenade goes off and you're too close to it, you have to fight to stay awake. It's a little you know button mashing thing. Wow. 
Oh, get him. Oh. There we go. We got him. We got him. All right, good. All right, there's my first silencer for the M16. And as you can see, when I talked about the gameplay phases in the beginning, I talked about how you have those different um, those different phases of alertness, the caution, the, you know, everything like that. But if you catch the guy right, or if he's the only guy that sees you and you knock him out or incapacitate him or whatever, you won't actually go into those alert phases, which is really cool. It makes sense because he hasn't alerted anybody and he hasn't made any noise and he hasn't fired a weapon or something like that. So this guy right here, this guy, more important than what he talks about to the lore of the universe in general is what's all over his walls, all the photographs and all the models and stuff. There's a fucking Jehuti. There's an orbital frame from the year 2250 whatever behind him, which is um, from another game series called Zone of the Enders that Kojima uh, produced. So that's a fun little Easter egg for people who know about it, as this guy's getting blitzed. Um, Kojima san That's a pretty good sized flask, man. I mean, look at that. He is. He is ham fisting that fucking flask, and it's it's still huge. Look at that. Shit, I would too. Yeah. <clears throat> Granin. So this Granin gentleman, um, designed some of the most important shit in the universe. At least this universe. The Metal Gear universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He designed, I think, the Vostok rocket. Um. Which is a real thing, but he also designed. Um, he also designed basically Metal Gear, and you'll see he talks about it in a little bit here. But and I think I mentioned it a little earlier. Paralleling all the other themes in these games is the theme of overwhelming technology. Which speaking of, there you can see some overwhelming technology right there. Um, it's overwhelming technology and, and scientists who should have just taken one for the team and gotten killed. There's a, there's a very prominent and very important uh, American scientist in that photograph right there. Oh, he built ICBMs, not the Vostok rocket. What's wrong with you? I don't know what's wrong with me. I apparently don't know my lore. Jesus. Playthrough canceled. Yep. <laughs> So this guy feels like he's in a bad place right now. He's pissed off at the Russians. He's pissed off at Sokolov specifically. Yeah. Because everybody, everybody likes Sokolov's crazy super endgame war weapons and not his. So what does he do? He sits in his badass underground office and drinks. Yep. The guard, go get me more liquor. Pretty much. I think that's all those scientists are there for. So now if you look at this, this is, be aware, oh, like, shit. just keep an eye on that design. You might see it at some point in the future. But the interesting thing about this is that all the technology that, um, all the technology that, that causes all these problems later in the series is fucking Russian. By the way, those, oh didn't look fast enough is fucking well, russian <coughs> and it's been stolen by the americans or at least co-opted and you'll see that in the future it's pretty funny it's funorific it's funticular funtacular man i am just i am not in it today you're gonna have to take you're gonna have to take up some of the slack well i would just shut your fucking mouth Stop talking so hey, much. Hey, Tony, hey, no, hang on. I gotta say something. No, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Look at these plans. Just look at it. Kojima's no. like, look at it. I'm shoving it in your fucking face, asshole. All of it. All of it. Yeah. Every single blueprint. Wait, were those technically blueprints or just specs? Uh, I would, that looked more like a, like, like specs or, uh, that, that looked like something you'd file as a patent. A patent? Without all the, without all the paperwork. Wait, do socialists have patents? I don't no. think so. Legs. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Anywhere. Like to my sister's bedroom to pleasure. Whoa. So already you see all these guys 
all these friggin forward thinking scientists setting the stage for bad shit to happen <clears throat> to the future yeah and some of it gets kind of weird like the next game we play is going to get kind of weird very weird apparently from what you've been telling me you're gonna there's gonna be a lot of what the fuck moments for you where you're like uh nano machines no not even nano machines nano machines aren't a thing until um Four. until metal gear no they're not a thing until metal gear solid one oh okay metal gear solid one a little more two but one so metal gear solid yes don't say one that there is a no one there is a one because it's the first one. But um. We never need to worry about the this. Go ahead. Which, this guy, Volgan, right? Yeah. He's an asshole. Is that is that all you have? That's a that's yeah. a fantastic <laughs> insight. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but how does he how does he get his fucking electricity? I don't shit? know. That's never explained. And I've even looked it up on the wiki out of curiosity, and it was never explained. <clears throat> However, there's one thing I would like to point out here, and that's the fact that they're talking about um, Vulgan having unlimited funds from something called the Philosopher's Legacy. And this goes back to World War II being the root of all the problems in this series and the divergence point for the, the uh, history of the universe of this game. Hang on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Dude, I'm not happy. Like gonna die. I'm not happy that I'm, like, dying on... Like, my balls are exposed on stream right now, dude. What the hell? It's not cool. Um, but um, this guy brings up the Philosophers, who is is a group of basically a shadow organization, the Illuminati of this universe that controls everything from behind the shadows. And you yeah. you learn a little later that all the, the, all the Philosophers have slowly been getting assassinated and killed by fucking somebody. Um, somebody. Who's that somebody? Mm, delicious water. Um, that's never... I don't think that's ever... Um, Explain. I don't think that's ever explained because it's actually not important. Uh, the, the main thing that's important about the philosophers is their legacy, which is just like hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. So, hold on. What just happened there? What? Dude complimented his shoes and now he's telling him how to get into the fortress he's drunk interesting haven't you ever been drunk of course you're drunk and i'm like hey you don't disgust me today and then all of a sudden i'm inside you and you're like yes this is what i wanted and then you wake up the Whoa. next day then you wake up Whoa. the next day and you're like no this is not what i wanted so i'm sure he's gonna wake up from his drunken stupor and be like oh 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 fuck! What have I? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch shit for this. <laughs> he totally catches shit for it too. Spoiler alert, but you know, deal with it. He's not in the grand scheme of the universe. He's not a very important character. He was, but now is not. He never really was. Like I said, that's why I said that. Really, the only thing important about him was his designs. Mm. Which, uh, like he said earlier, he sent to his uh, friend, the American scientist in America. Who was in one of the pictures, by the way. Yes. With the glasses. I, I would like you to remember that picture because we will be dealing with that person at some point in the future here. Just to kind of give you a slow, uh, small direction on where the hell this uh, series is heading. It's heading to some weird shit. And then it becomes not weird after a while. A man has invited me to chat on the Xbox service. I cannot even imagine the it's not me. It is not you. It's Mr. Mozboz, my Canadian compatriot. I wish. Compatriot. Yes, sir. And now I got the loud, annoying noise to go with it, which is probably going to get picked up. God, the, the level of professionalism that's being displayed on this, on this LP. Playthrough canceled. Yep. That's gonna be that's gonna be the running gag until I actually cancel the LP. <laughs> We're gonna be like one video away from one of the biggest plot points ever, like three games into it, and it's just gonna be like there's gonna be playthrough canceled. Yeah, there's gonna be a video where I'm just gonna be like, nope, sorry, fuck you guys, fucking deal with it, like and subscribe, or not. <laughs> 
to the two uh, the two people that ever catch any of these videos. Yep. <clears throat> All right, now we didn't do this the last time, but I'm gonna give Sigint a quick call here, but I because if I remember correctly, he might have a lot to say about what that guy just said. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little like a bird bird. Gotta be a joke. Now, this this conversation is fucking important because of what this guy might do in the future. Remember this conversation. I will Wait, reference. What guy? I did Sigint. Okay. Donald Anderson. How, okay. How he's talking about how you how it's it's a dumb idea to put legs on a tank. Yeah. Just just. Just keep that keep that in your back pocket for you know a couple months down the line when we get to a couple different games here. Just just relax. Just okay. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, did you notice he talked about Emric right there? No. First mention of Emric in any of the Metal Gear games.